Every day here with a tank guide for the hard mode quartermaster bullet fight in the Ravagers operation. Tanking this fight is all about mitigating damage to the group from pirates and handling the AoE cleaves from the boss without letting the group take unnecessary damage. Uh, these are what I consider the two really important jobs for tanks and the thing you should co coordinate and communicate between tanks at the beginning of the fight. So the way we like to do this fight is have a tank open up on the boss and then pick up beer after using the first two taunts and then the second tank hold quartermaster bullet. Pre-picking up the beer lets you position up top and get ready to uh, grab the pirates as quickly as possible before they can aggro on healers and start putting pressure on them. Uh, the biggest trick about this fight that I don't see people doing is clicking off the beer buff after they have all of the adds aggroed on them. You need the beer to get the adds on you but once they're all on you, you can click off the buff and then use movement abilities and defensive cooldowns as well as taunt Quartermaster Bulo. Uh, without that taunt, it's really hard to keep aggro for the first Scatter Blast here, but by clicking off beer, you can make sure that none of the DPS ever get hit by Scatter Blast. So, the second pirate spawn's about to come, and Salim is already prepared by picking up beer. Planning ahead for these pirate spawns is the best way to make sure that they get on you as quickly as possible. And here you see he would like to take the adds to the close blue circle, but he has to wait until the cast is done so he doesn't walk into the scatter blast from the other tank. And that ties neatly into the second job of the tanks, and that's keeping scatter blast and shotgun blast pointed away from the group. We like to keep them pointed at the outside of the room and leave the ranged DPS and the healers uh, as much room in the middle of the room as we can, because they'll have to do things like kite load lifters or just position themselves so when tanks have to drag adds to blue in the middle of the room, like the blue circles that you see there, they won't have to cleave DPS or healers to do it. So basically this whole fight is managing those two cleaves and then planning ahead for handling the pirates. For the third set of pirates, the two tanks both have barrel debuffs, so you could have a tank pick up a barrel here, but then their accuracy would be zero for the rest of the fight. Instead, we choose to have tanks AoE taunt as after this third pirate spawn, a uh, mass barrage comes out right here, and this will always clear up those pirate adds. So we choose to taunt the adds and pop a defensive cooldown rather than basically meaning our tanks can't taunt for the rest of the fight. When the fourth pirate adds come out, the first tank's accuracy debuff will be almost gone. So the, we like to have the second tank AoE taunt and just hold them for a second or two until the first tank can pick up beer and get up to the pirates to aggro them. Uh, if you have a fifth set of spawns, which we don't in this video, you can handle them the same way and have the first tank AoE taunt while the second tank picks up beer. And if, by some chance, you have a sixth pirate spawn, we would again just have tanks AoE taunt them and hold them until mass barrage. So good luck on this fight, and hopefully you can set up a strategy that works for you and coordinate those two mechanics as tanks.